production uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use this lucky betrayed kafia. Uh, firstly, I'm going to start with how to find this terminal path. Okay, in a, a MetaTrader 5 terminal, we have one MetaTrader 5 terminal for, from a uh, Insta Forex server, and then we have one uh, MetaTrader 4 terminal uh, in 24FX uh, brokers. Yeah. So I'll show you how to get the uh, terminal path for MetaTrader 5 first. Um, there's two easy ways, but uh, first of all, you can go to Navigators. You can just click any export advisor with the source, source code on it. Then click uh, Modify button. Then if you go to Export uh, on your left side, and this is your uh, terminal path, Export Advisor Terminal Path, and you should place your uh, send MT5 uh, file on here. Okay. Uh, another way of doing it is uh, in your MetaTrader 5 terminal, go to Tools, uh, Meta Code Language Edit Editors, just click, uh, same as before, just click Export Advisor folder and open folder, and and uh, just click, uh, just uh, copy this send MT5 EA to this folder. Uh, Okay, um, so this is how you get your uh, terminal path for MetaTrader 5. And for MetaTrader 4, uh, if you just open a terminal and do the same, go to Tools, MetaCode Language Editors, and click, and go to Export Advisors, uh, and you pl should place your Receive MT4 EA on this folder. Yeah, and also if you uh, Files. This is the the folder files folder you need to copy. So you just copy this uh, files folder to paste onto your MetaTrader 5 EAs. Yeah. Uh, first of all, before you start your Lucky Bit Trade Copier, check this option. Export advises allow automate trading and allow daily imports are ticked. Once it's done, it open any chart and uh, attach to chart, also check allow to tradings, and in input tabs, uh, on the first MT4 terminal path, you paste your previous uh, address, which was you got from this this address, and copy like this, yeah? So this is uh, the address I placed, and click OK. Now it will, uh, uh, you know, load it, uh, then, once the uh, sender EA is loaded, go to your MetaTrader 4 terminal. Also do the same. Check whether allow automate trading is ticked, allow dealer imports are ticked. Both are done. Just open any chart uh, and then just attach it to chart. Also check the command allow live trading, allow dealer imports. And in input, most of the time you can just use default settings. Uh, so here we will use default settings. Okay, now it's now it start to copying the signal from your MetaTrader 5 terminals. So just for demonstration purpose, I will uh, I will just show you how to copy this uh, MT5 manual trading to your MT4 terminals. Of course, you will rarely do this, but still, I'll just show you to make you better understanding how this operates. Yeah. So in your um, in your MT5 terminal, if you open any orders, it will be copied. Any random orders. So sell orders is now copied to uh, this uh, 24FX. Yeah? And also GPUSD random orders, say buy, will be copied to this uh, 24FX. And also when you say USJPY uh, random sell order, will be copied to this uh, MetaTrader 4 platforms. So if you just set, for example, uh, stop loss or take profit, uh, then it will be also copied on your MetaTrader 4 terminals. If you also do the same for GBPUSD, uh, just put some random take profit and stop loss, this will be also uh, copied on uh, 
in meta to the photominus as well. And then um, I show you a few changes in uh, version 7.0. As I mentioned before, in version 7.0, if you uh, change any input parameters, now it will be effective immediately. For example, if you change this copy stop loss and take profits uh, now as a false, and click OK, this will be in, in effective now. Stop loss and take profit will be removed. And also, if you do a uh, copy stop loss and take profit true, and click OK, now the stop loss and take profit will be back. Yeah? Um, same again, uh, for example, any input parameters you change here will be effective immediately. In previous version, you have to remove the EA from your chart and then reattach it to make uh, this change effective, but now you don't have to do it anymore. For example, if you set this uh, reverse position as a true, now this uh, sell position will become buy and buy position will become sell. Uh, so let's see how it, how it works. Right, now buy position become uh, uh, sell and the sell position become buy, right? Um, if you need, you can use it, but this will be probably a rare options for you to use it. So if you say false, it will put it back original uh, prices um, orders. But before you use change any uh, input parameters, you must uh, think carefully because of the uh, you know. If it's a live account and a, a real money is running on these platforms, you know you need to know what consequence will be there when you change these input parameters. So uh, think before you do it. And if you know the consequence clearly, then you know, of course, you can change the input parameters. And the good thing is you don't have to reattach this uh, EA from your chart. Uh, you just use it. You know, change any parameters and click OK and. Uh, change will be effective immediately. And another important uh, options I added in, in this uh, version 7.0 is you can also close all the positions. Uh, you have two options. You can close all positions or you can close all positions in profit. Uh, because of, uh, we don't have any uh, positions in profit, I will just close all positions for demonstration purpose. So if you set as true, it will close all positions. But it won't copy anymore. This, you use this um, when you don't want to subscribe the MT5 signal anymore and also you don't want to copy the MT5 signal to your MetaTrader for terminals anymore. Uh, it, sometimes if you have a, like a, a 30, 40 you know, positions opened on your uh, MetaTrader 5 terminals, and if you try to close all, all of them by hand uh, manually, it's a tedious task. In that case, just go here and properties, and I just set this close all position as true, then it will close all uh, profit, uh, all positions. If you set this close all position in profit is true, then it will only close uh, the position in profit. Okay, uh, uh, it just stopped now. You have to, rest to restart it. You have to open another chart, and then you have to uh, click OK. Now, then the original position will be again will be copied. Okay, so this is um, just quick demonstration for copying the manual trading from your MetaTrader 5 to your MetaTrader 4 terminals. Now I'll show you how to copy this MetaTrader 5 export advisor to your MetaTrader 4 terminals. Okay, so to use your export advisor, just open another uh, chart, any random chart. I will. I prepared this multi-currency EA just for demonstration purpose, and this is nothing to do with uh, uh, any profit or stability or anything else. Okay. Uh, first of all, I close all this trade, so I don't want to give you any confusion. Okay. So they all close. Now it's all closed, clean, right? So if you attach this multi-currency EA. Uh, on this chart, okay. Now it opens a uh, one euro USD and GBPUSD, and then it will be copied on on your MetaTrader four terminals, okay. So so this is how you use your uh, export advisor uh, with your MT four terminals. You can also copy two MT five export advisor to single MT four terminals, right? To do that, I will open another. Uh, 
meta through the five terminal from our ion FX here. Okay. So we will need uh, this uh, terminal path again. So copy it. And then it opens any chart. Uh, okay, and attach to chart. And again, you place this uh, terminal path, right? And uh, one important thing here is you have to change the sender ID of uh, this MetaTrader 5 terminal because so this InstaForex is using sender ID uh, 0. Sender ID of this MT5 terminal is 0. Okay? So, uh, you have to give uh, something else for this IonFX MetaTrader 5 terminals. So, I'll give you sender ID 1. And OK. Yeah? So, now this is sender ID of this MT5 terminal is 1. Right? So to copy this position from this ion FX uh, MetaTrader 5 terminals, you have to uh, open, on your MetaTrader 4 terminals, you have to open another chart. Yeah? And uh, attach to chart. And here, connect to the sender ID. Before it was 0, but now it should be 1 to receive uh, the ion FX MetaTrader 5 terminals. Uh, click OK. Okay, now this uh, trader copier is connected to send ID 1, which is account number 5008192. Okay, so now let's see, uh, for some time we have uh, quite a lot of orders open, the 1 Euro USD, 1 GBPUSD, USD, APY, and then the um, MetaTrader 4 terminal copied successfully. Uh, only reason GBPUSD is 2 is because of this uh, this uh, uh, MetaTrader, this export advisor keep adding the positions on MetaTrader 5 terminals. That's why it's keep uh, increasing uh, these orders. So in MetaTrader uh, 5 terminal in IonFX uh, demo, we will also you apply the same export advisors. So open any other chart uh, and I will apply this multi-currency pair EA to this chart. Okay, allow to trading is true. Okay. Now Euro GBP is now uh, it's not opening. Okay, this uh Okay, this EA is have some problem with uh, this ion FX. Um, okay, so this export device doesn't work, so I will just uh, show you uh, manual trading demos for demonstration purpose. So if I just open new orders, sell, then uh, okay, you will have uh, another. Uh, Positions opened from send ID one, but uh, now we got a red, um, you know, like mark because of our balance is running low. Uh, but just for demonstration purposes, I opened another position. Okay, another buy. Then it will open also another buy from uh, our and uh, our dolly. Okay, so um, so this is how uh, I will show you two x how to copy two x. Put advisor from your MetaTrader 5 terminal to your single MetaTrader 4 terminals. So um, now I show you just quick demonstration how to uh, subscribe MT5 signal to your MetaTrader 4 terminals. Yeah? To subscribe the signals, you just go to signal tabs and just click uh, any uh, signals you like, you like to receive. Yeah, and just click subscribe. It will ask you to password. And once you type the password and click OK, then you will be asked to agree terms and condition. And if you click OK, then you can subscribe the signals. But because of I'm running the signals on another uh, PC, I cannot uh, subscribe another signals in this PC because of uh, uh, with uh, one account, you can only use one PC. So, but the, basically the way it works is the same as the using the export advisors, right? OK, so this is... Uh, uh, to this here, this line here, and I'm just quickly going to show you how to send the product key to me for live account for The same as before, just go to the um, uh, tools language editors, 
and then just open the files folder and this is empty file product key just just copy this to Sony on your hard drive and uh, send it to me uh, to my email address or you know if you prefer you can just send this uh, one single line to my email address and it's the same for uh, MT4 export advice tool and if you open this MT4 product key as well so just send this one line or you can just send the whole text file uh, whichever uh, convenient for you okay um, Finally, try to become familiar with the Lucky Pip MT5 to MT4 thread copier. Just use a demo version. Uh, you know, you will find how handy it is, and also you can make good money out of it. You know, uh, you can diversify your portfolios, and you know, uh, your drawdown will be reduced. And then, you know, there is unexpected uh, bad performance from your MetaTrader 4 signals. Then, you know, it will be covered by MetaTrader 5 signals uh, profit. So, you know, both uh, signal will help each other. Okay, thanks a lot for uh, attending for this uh, video tutorials, and I'll probably see you again with another video tutorial next time. Thank you.